Monster Melee, Storm Giant versus Young Red Dragon rematch. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special Monster Melee rematch. This is the first time I've done one of these, though I've been intending on doing them for a little while now. So um, after yesterday's episode between the Storm Giant and the Young Red Dragon, it kept irking me how I forgot the the Red Dragon had to make concentration checks with Heat Metal. Heat Metal is a concentration spell. Even though overall it probably didn't have a huge impact, it might have. There is that chance. And that kept bugging me. Also, I forgot the uh, Storm Giant's first opportunity attack literally just a few seconds after I said he was going to make one. So it just goes to show you how any GM can easily overlook things in a complex situation like D&D. But let's do this rematch. I think this is quite appropriate time to kick off some of the rematches that I want to do. If you haven't watched the first match between these two, definitely go check that one out first. It will give you some more details and more context. This also brings up an interesting question. Are any of these battles canon, like in my campaign setting of Ikoros? Well, maybe. I think uh, Elmar and the, the soldiers of Fjarlstead, I think I like that enough, and it has enough like storytelling in it that we could consider that actually taking place in the world. The others, I don't think so. The majority of these monster melees are not intended to be taking place in my campaign setting or to be having some official story. Of course, you all might have your own head cannon, so that's fine. So this is strictly just a rematch of this battle because I want to play it out and uh, make sure things go a little bit more smoothly, a little bit more fair and square. So I'll put the stats on the screen here of these two contestants. I won't go through it again because I went through it in yesterday's video, but this will give you a quick overview of some of their statistics, their strengths and weaknesses. And let's just jump right into this battle and see if things play out any differently this time. Kick off with the initiative check here. Storm Giant won last time and looks like he's winning again this time. All right, there we go. Uh, the Storm Giant will stomp over his 50 feet. I will use your scales for armor, worm. And he's got the two attacks with his great sword for his multi-attack. Uh, we're looking at a 23 to hit and a mere 17, so we've only got one hit there from the great sword. The second one just barely misses. The dragon's steel hard scales repel the strike. The dragon takes 31 damage there. The dragon, of course, will kick off with his fire breath. <laughs> A tremendous gout of flame getting in there for 65 fire damage. Let's see if the Storm Giant can roll anything good for a deck save. He got a nat 20. That will do it. So that's going to cut that down to 32 damage. The dragon then is going to go ahead and fly away, take the opportunity attack. So let's actually roll that first. Uh, here comes the Storm Giant attack. There's a hit. Not a big surprise. His attack is a walloping plus 14 to hit and there's another 29 to the red dragon <laughs> the dragon will go ahead and cut around there maybe he can take advantage of some sort of cover and we move now to round two going to the storm giant's turn let's see actually maybe he'll move part and then do a lightning strike and then head over to the side i think that that might be a good way to do it so here we go lightning strike is there Behold the fury of the storm! And a tremendous blast of lightning for a 61 damage. Oh my. All right, so the dragon's going to make a dexterity saving throw. It has a plus four on its save, going against a DC 17. That is certainly enough. It's going to cut it to 30 damage. Does he want to use his absorb elements right there? Um, I think he'll go for it. Why not? That'll save him 15 hit points. He's already taken a pretty decent amount of damage. All right, so the dragon cuts the 61 down to 15. All right, and the giant will finish by heading back this way onto the dragon. Recharge roll. Uh, doesn't get the recharge. He's probably going to do a heat metal and move. I think that's the, the way to go. So he'll fly over like thereabouts. <laughs> this sort of a wing about move. And there's going to be a heat metal of uh, 2d8 fire damage. Gets in 12 against the Storm Giant. He is concentrating. That is a concentration spell. Actually, that'd be, that'd be pretty pretty uh, overpowered if that was not a concentration spell. And we'll wing back. 
heading like so. Back to the Storm Giant, recharge, recharge, check, and gets a lightning strike back. That's pretty cool. Um, so I think he's going to do there a little lightning strike, hoping to knock the dragon's concentration off. Uh, here he goes. <laughs> Tremendous blast comes at the red dragon. <sighs> 62. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Right, there is the deck save with the plus four. That's not going to do it. The red dragon's wishing he had that absorb elements right about now. He is taking a full 62, and there's no way he's going to be able to make that concentration check. The heat metal is going to be gone just like that. So this match is, is not going well for the red dragon. Uh, not the least, Storm Giant does a quick stomp over that way. Onto the red dragon, does recharge, check, does get the fire breath back. <sighs> oh my, I don't know what in the world this red dragon can even do at this point. Um, I mean, he can he can fire breath the giant and just kind of hope for the best, but uh, this, this is it. Well, he's a red dragon, he's not going to go down without a fight. So he'll fly like that, unleash some terrible, terrible flames. Terrible for the giant, that is. 16d6 is pretty massive. 52 actually does less than the um, the lightning strike that just went at it. Storm giant, a mere plus two on the deck save. Oh my gosh, he gets it. Apparently the storm giant is just full of righteous indignation due to uh, the couple of bloopers from the last matchup. So uh, he's coming back with a great vengeance. Things will be righted. So that's only going to be 26 damage. He's still got 160 hit points. Uh, I don't think there's any way the dra red dragon's gonna pull this one off. He'll wing over back a little bit like that, but... Is this a multi-attack here? Yeah, it's, this is a multi-attack. Red dragon, my blade will run red with your blood. And here we go, a couple great sword attacks. Just absolutely devastating great sword hits. Uh, both are... Are hits. Oh my, this is probably it. This is probably it for the red dragon. Uh, looking at 73 total. Yes! Decapitates the dragon, the body slumps over, the giant lifts up the head. I am the hunter, you are the prey. Well done, Storm Giant. I give it to you. So, uh, I guess you really were owed this vengeance. Sorry for, uh, wronging you, for sliding you in the previous one. Hey, come on, give a guy a break. A, a DM has a lot on his plate to juggle. And I'm used to having other people playing with me that help, help me remember things and remind me of stuff. Alright guys, I'll wrap it up there. This was just a quick rematch. I do have a couple other rematches slated, and, um, I'm very interested to see how, like, the Beholder versus the White Dragon goes. I really think that White Dragon has a, has a good chance of winning. Um, I want to try the um, Mind Flayer versus the Drow Mage again. There's a whole different kind of strategy that the Drow Mage can use and uh, I think it might give him an even better chance of, uh, of not dying and getting his brain eaten this next time. Alright, that'll do it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video sometime soon. As always, may your adventures be many!